squad up. I got that dog in me. What's going on, YouTube? So I've been meaning to give you guys an update on this e-bike, on this 60 volt DIY e-bike. I've been trying to give you guys the top speed test, but between not having time and also going through controller and multiple displays, um, I accidentally did a speed test today. It wasn't intentional. Uh, I was go I went to low to Coles to drop something off, and I was trying to beat the traffic before it caught up to me and lo and behold i hit 45 i was going uphill doing 45 on this bike going uphill doing 45 and downhill i was doing 49. i'm of course gonna put a video uh on the screen for you guys to see but i want to address something else real quick because in my previous videos i keep saying that this is my uh DIY e-bike that I built from scratch and a lot of even though I did this from scratch a lot of people were well a few people were saying that oh you didn't mine the batteries you didn't build the frame that is correct when I said from scratch I didn't mean that I literally did it like from the ground up I didn't weld the frame I didn't go mine the coals or whatever it is to make the battery and all of that stuff I didn't make the LEDs I just use my creative mind to put everything together I did build the box but I also didn't make the uh, the plastic whatever plastic that is called you have to realize that all this e-bike comp all these e-bikes that you see online that build e-bikes by their definition they don't technically build the e-bikes themselves even they themselves put it together a lot of these companies are buying parts from China as well the company that sold me the battery is a is a, is a known e-bike company the battery came from China I've opened the battery up because I had to replace the VMS it all comes from China so yes I didn't build the frame itself but I put in so much work into this when I say so much work you have to realize that when it comes to building a powerful e-bike it's not always just as simple as plug and play you have to figure some things out and also I switched my controller to a flip ski uh, right now I have a flip ski 75 100 uh, v2 pro I just bought a 75 200 v2 pro which I haven't installed yet all right so I did receive this flip ski 75200 uh, I received it just after I came back from that ride so I'm charging the bike right now and I'm gonna install this but the video that you're gonna see is gonna be based on the 75 uh, 75100 so I'm not really sure what, they, what this will do either this will make it more efficient or it would make it slightly faster when I do fuel weakening. I don't know what this would do. I'm still gonna install it anyways. But um, once I install that, I'm gonna try and push this to 50 miles per hour, you know, by adding some fuel weakening. But right now, the way it is, I definitely hit 45 going uphill. At least that's what my display was saying. And my display has been damn near accurate. But don't worry, I got GPS data. I'm gonna overlay on the screen. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Turn me Big up. energy. Got this is why you have a 40 mile per hour bike. Dog in me, yeah. Any up. I take on anyone. I don't need a one no one. I got that dog in me, yeah. I'm talking all bite. No bark. I could rip your squad up. I got that dog in me. Huh. So what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up? I told him move over. Enough of that mediocre I've been The man since yeah. cruising around in the stroller I got ice in my veins like a cut in Minnesota Why not show you how I'm built Come a little closer A lot of heart, been smart, aura gotta glow We can restart, give head start, still get the same result I'm about mine, don't you get it confused I'ma win, win again, yeah that's all that I do I got that dog in me, yeah Turn me up, big energy, got the crowd going nuts I got that dog in me, yeah I don't need the one no one I got that dog in me, yeah I'm talking all bite, no bark I could rip your squad up I got that dog in me, huh? So what's up? Yeah, 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 so what's up? They don't get it Oh, 
all the way up until 49 miles per hour. And 49 was going downhill, of course. I love these bikes, man. I just pedal through the red light. And when I'm clear, I just keep going. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going up. Also, in regards to building, think about iPhone, right? Who makes iPhone? A lot of you are gonna say Apple makes iPhone. Well, did you know that Apple also gets parts from uh, Samsung? Did you know that Apple gets parts from other companies? It doesn't mean that Apple still doesn't, doesn't build iPhone. They still build iPhones. It's just that nothing in the world get built from scratch, literally anymore. So when I said I built from scratch, that's what I meant. I meant like from the frame up, as in like I put stuff together. I use my creative mind to put everything that you see together. You know, you're gonna hear somebody say, this is my 52 volt, this is my 62, this is my 60 volt e-bike, this is my 72 uh, volt build e-bike. It doesn't necessarily mean that we build it from the scratch, uh, from the ground up. So stop taking it too literally and give us some credit for all the hard work. I promise you, this is not something that anybody can do. Because if you think you can easily do this, go ahead and try it and show me yours. You will, you will come across so much issues. I've gone through so many different controllers, so many different displays. There are parts that I will buy that wouldn't fit. There are things that I would have to manually modify. For example, I told you guys about how this middle storage took me a long time to make. But anyways, I am super proud of this bike and I'm glad I did it. If you want to build yours, you know, feel free to try it. You know, if you don't want to build something like this, but you want a 60 volt e-bike that is still fast, powerful, uh, there's a few companies out there. Motor Goat is one of them. Lyric Cycle is one of them. Um, the Five Star is another. I personally don't like the looks of Five Stars, but it is a preference and they are very powerful. Uh, there's a few companies out there making 60 volt e-bikes and you don't have to get a 60 volt e-bike as well you could get 50 uh, 52 volt e-bike you can get a 48 volt e-bike and just upgrade it you know the choice is yours I'm just showing you guys what I did for mine I've bought an e-bike from a company in the past but this time around I decided to make it the thing is the benefit of making it the making it myself is I get to do exactly what I want the lights the, the net, the middle storage, the, the bag, the display now, which is uh, my phone. I have, an, uh, I have two phones. I use an old phone for the display because when you have a Flipski, uh, Flipski uses VESC software. That's how you tune your e-bike. So I've been walking through, the, I've been playing around with the tuning right now. My goal is to, uh, to figure out some uh to figure out field weakening so i can make it fast i heard that you can make your e-bike faster by adding field weakening i don't really know much about field weakening as a matter of fact i don't really know much about vesk so i'm hoping that i can uh, i'm in an e-bike group right now called uh 40 plus mile an hour e-bike or something like that I'm hoping somebody in there can help me figure out what field weakening is because I don't really I really don't know what it is but right now I'm doing 45 going uphill and I will I wouldn't mind making it faster I don't have to because my goal was always to comfortably comfortably do 40 so if it, if it gets faster great if it doesn't get any faster I'm still completely satisfied with the e-bike anyways that's just another look on the easy bike Maybe once again, maybe once I get that, um, once I install that Flipski 75200 V2 Pro, maybe I will do another video if I get a significant uh, miles per hour increase. If it's only two or three miles, then I'm just not gonna make another video, a whole video for it. But so right now you're looking at 60 volt, 40 amp. Uh, as far as the controller, it's 40 amp. As far as my current. Another beautiful thing is with the flip ski is you can set your own current. I mean, obviously there's a current limit, but right now I actually have it to 60 amp current limit. With my battery, I can actually go up to I can go up to 100 uh, amp as far as my current goes. But 
when you, whenever you're maxing out your current, I believe it degrades the life of the battery. So I have my current at 60 amp. Uh, but if I also want to get to 50, I can always increase because, I mean, I have a 100 amp limit and I'm at 60. So I have a lot of room to increase. And like I said, if I'm doing 44, 45 going uphill, I can definitely touch 50 if I increase the current and also if I add uh, fuel weakening, which, like I said, I'm still trying to learn what fuel weakening is. Fuel weakening, yeah. I think that fuel weakening, I'm not even gonna try to explain it because I don't wanna mess up and then somebody was like, oh, you don't know, you don't know what you're talking about. Like I said, I'm still learning. I will get better at this you know not everybody doesn't know everything so for those of you who know feel free to educate me you know so far I love my bike I'm very happy with what I have but if it can go 50 why not go 50 you know what I'm saying that's my baby